got to talk about what happened with Greg McDermott right off the top. Um, yep. Yesterday, uh, around five o'clock, he released a statement um, addressing something that you know both of us had heard about and had been kind of floating around um, college basketball circles for a couple of days. It was after the loss to Xavier on, I believe it was Saturday um, in the locker room. What he said, he, this is what he said in his statement. Um, while he was trying to make a point in the postgame locker room, he said, quote, guys, we got to stick together. We need both feet in. I need everybody to stay on the plantation. I can't have anybody leave the plantation. Uh, he continued in that statement. I immediately recognized my egregious mistake and quickly addressed my use of such insensitive words with the team. I've never used that analogy, and it is not indicative of who I am as a person or as a coach. I am deeply sorry. Um, he also uh met with the team he's met with administrators he met with his uh, athletic director and the president of the university um i was told that he offered to resign his position and that the team made the decision uh as a group that they did not want him to leave um but it's 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 very very bad like the the pat chambers at penn state lost his job for saying something very similar to this that that words right along these lines it was just as racially insensitive and i'll be honest i'm pretty surprised that mcdermott is going to be coaching tonight against villanova yeah listen i'm a little surprised he wasn't suspended for this game as well um you know there was a, a statement that came out from assistant coach terrence rancher uh after that uh, who's a part of the coaches uh, for action um that that was uh that was put together uh, this past summer, and and part of it I'll read is is he said, uh, let me address what Coach McDermott said. I'm deeply hurt by his words. While my relationship with Coach has been positive, I have never witnessed any racist energy from him. What he said was wrong and insensitive. Uh, Plantation had a dark and hurtful history in our community and cannot be overlooked. Listen, he's right. He's right. And and I've talked to numerous people in the last 12 hours uh, that are close to Greg McDermott, and and I've known Greg for a long time, a long time, probably almost 20 years. And uh, obviously, listen, he was completely uh, in a dark place over these last few years and and regrets saying these words, but ultimately he said them. He said them, and uh, you have to be accountable for that, right? You have to be accountable for that. Um, the word plantation should not be used in that context or any context right now. Um, I don't, I've never witnessed, that's all I can say. I've never witnessed any racism being around Greg McDermott. And, and you know how close I am with, with Doug McDermott. Like, honestly, one of the best kids I've ever been around um, in, in all my years of doing this. And I've been around that family and again, I have never seen anything. That's all I can attest to, right? I mean, the, the key here is what, how are the players reacting to this? And again, I spoke to somebody very close to the players, and they say that they're behind them. Now, are they concerned? Are they still, do they trust him completely right now? There's a few of them that don't. There's a few of them that don't. But ultimately, uh, they were behind him enough to say, we do not want him fired. We do not want him fired after this. And coach, we don't want you to resign is basically what they came out with. So he screwed up royally here and uh, and he's going to have to pay the price. I, I don't know if he keeps his job long term. You know, we'll see what happens here. Obviously, he's got a great AD in Bruce Rasmussen. Um, so I think they'll figure out the right thing to do here. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm shocked that there wasn't some suspension that came with this. Uh, but obviously the players went to bat for him uh, after all this. Yeah, the decision for this should lie solely on the people in that locker room and on that team that were directly affected yeah. uh, by him. And, and you know, the, the biggest problem with with what he said is just the the, the power dynamics in college basketball that there's – we talk about this all the time. Part of the reason why we push for – things like NIL rights, part of the reason why both of us has been very vocal about making sure that we get guys like Isaac Brown and Terrence Johnson, the opportunities that they have deserved um, is because there's the situations where you have coaches that are white making millions and millions of dollars with yeah. this much control and influence over players who are generally black that are doing this for free. And um, when you think about it in that context and you use the term plantation and say, we need everybody in on the plantation, it's just, 
You cannot do that. That cannot be acceptable. And um, maybe he misspoke. Maybe it was something where uh, it just the, the wrong term came out while he was in a dream. Whatever, whatever excuse you want to make, whatever way that you want to justify it, there, there, there is no justification for it. It should not be acceptable. Um, and the one thing that I do like about the situation is that if if everything that is being said is to be believe, uh, be believed, and it was the players that decided they wanted to keep him around, I, I think that is where the decision needs to lie because they are the ones that are under his influence. They are the ones that he has. Uh, I don't want to say control over, but he's he's their coach, right? He's he's more or less their boss. Um, and if they are saying we don't believe that, that we believe this was him misspeaking, and we don't believe this is a sign of his character, then those are the ones that you want to listen to. And I'm hoping hoping that the decision really did lie in their hands. And it really was. They were the ones that that made the decision that he's not uh, resigning or leaving his post. I I think them seeing him literally in tears, I I think showed how remorseful he was about his words. And again, he didn't, he didn't say, you know, he was taken out of context. He didn't say like, he just, he owned it. He owned it to him. And uh, listen, let's hope, um, they can figure things out there again. Everything I've seen of the man of Greg McDermott, um, I, I respect, uh, but he screwed up. He screwed up, and 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 there probably should be some sort of punishment that goes along with it.